Today's project is fitting these uh, eBay $35 reversing sensors. There's the little kit there. To this Falcon station wagon bumper bar. And also, I'm going to show you how to fix this crack without painting. And see if we can get that to tuck in a bit neater. And the first thing we're going to do is take off the rear bumper bar. We'll start by taking these black plastic scrivets off there. And what I normally do is get like a little screwdriver and just push that up a little bit there. Oh, sorry. I'll get it to focus there. And then I get this scrivet removing tool and just stick that in there. Just be careful not to scratch the paint. Yes, there. And then I just put it in a little container there so they don't get lost. And then also around to the mud flaps. You can see they've got them as well there. And I'll take them off. Looks like there's a screw there holding that on there. We'll take all that off and get the bumper bar off. And we'll be back when the bumper's off. Okay, before we take the bumper bar off, I'm just going to take a height measurement because in the instructions it says that the best height for the sensors is between 50 and 60 centimetres. So if we have a look on there, and I'm just going to, it's just going to be just under that line, that body line there. And uh, I'll mark that off. And when the bumper's off, I'll be able to um, install the sensors at the right height. Okay, so I've got all the five screws off from the top lip there of the bumper. And now to take it off, I've just had a bit of a look under here. And you can see there, sorry for the shit lighting, there's two rivets. And the mud flap is attached to the rear bumper. So we don't have to worry about taking that off, we'll just undo those, drill those two rivets out. And then underneath, there's another two rivets there. We'll drill them out and we'll just unscrew the uh, trailer electrical plug and the little Anderson plug there. And we should be able to take that bumper right off and get on with the repairs. Okay, we've unscrewed the um, electrical connections there. Drill out those rivets, and we come over here, and we've drilled out those rivets there. Now there's just one nut. I don't know if I can get it. I have to lower it down. There it is. There. Oh, all right. One nut on either side, and the bumper should come off. We'll lay it on a blanket so it doesn't get scratched, and start doing the repair, and then drilling the holes for the reversing sensors. The reversing sensors, they come in different colours. Uh, we got the white ones so they won't look so bad or noticeable on this one here. You can get the silver and black for $35. Bargain. Okay, we've got the bumper off. And you can see why the sides were hanging out. If you have a look here, you see these two pins here. One there. And one there and they lock into the uh, the body of the car I'll have to close that up and I want to try and do that without painting it but if you have a look over onto the car that's where the pins lock onto it's like a plastic clip and if you look at the back one it's missing so that's why it's not on there and if we go on the other side That one's a bit gangrenous looking, and that one's still in there, but it's not enough to hold it in. And obviously with that crack, it's pushing it out. So we'll see if we can fix all that up. And what I want to do is where the crack is, let's go over to the crack again. That's staying like that. It's not going to close up. So I might have to put the heat gun on it 
and to avoid painting it, I'm going to try and maybe super glue it first and then uh, plastic weld it from the back. So hopefully you'll just see like a hairline there, but it's better than painting the whole bumper bar. Okay. Okay, we've got the bumper bar sitting on this plastic, uh, on this um, blanket. So I don't want to scratch it or damage it any more than it is. Now what I've done is I've tied it up. So as it closes the, the gap on the crack here. Now I am going to get the uh, air gun, just so it holds that shape a bit better. And then I'm just going to fill up with uh, super glue, fill the gap up. Got to tie all these funny little angles here just to try and get it straight. Because again, I'm by myself today and I can't get somebody to hold it. And then after the uh, glue has set, I'm going to work from the inside and really put some strength in that um, crack from the back. So hopefully it doesn't damage the paint. And then if this needs straightening here, once I take the rope off, I can get it back into shape with the uh, the hot air gun. Let's have a look and see how we go here. Okay, okay I've super glued it together. And uh, it's kind of held in that corner there. Now what I've done, again, it's a bit hard to videotape it. I've got a cable tie and with a soldering iron, melted a blob on there. So that's holding it together. I've got the masking tape on it around the crack on the, the front side of it so that the super glue doesn't wreck the paint again. Now what I'm going to do is that little bit of copper that you can see, it's just the um, a bit of a speaker wire and I've stripped the insulation off it and twisted it around and I'm going to get the soldering iron and just sink that into the uh, cable tie and that'll form a, a bit of a bond. I'll see if I can film it so you can see what happens when you put the heat on it from the soldering iron that will just sink. Let's have a look here. Now the soldering iron is very hot so you just need to rest it. Oh there she goes. I don't want to stay there. Just try and get it across where the crack used to be. Oh she's going to be playing silly buggers. And I'll try and sink that in past the uh, cable tie into the, the grey plastic. And now that it's sunk in, I'll just try and smooth that off. Just don't smell the fumes of this stuff either because it doesn't smell too flash. Okay, that looks not too bad. Now I'll just let that cool off and I want to try and close that um, gap up a little bit more because I'll, I'll turn it around when you see from the other side there there's still a little bit of a gap there but that should hold that top corner in I'll go and look on the outside and see how... okay I've put masking tape around there so when I put the super glue in there it won't uh, wreck too much of the paint now you can see that top bit there Let's see if she focuses in that's a bit where I've put the um, plastic welded cable tie and the uh, uh, copper wire reinforcing. I'm just going to have to just be happy with that gap there. And I'll just go on the inside, I'll take the masking tape off and uh, finish plastic welding that up all on the inside. It is staying there, I've taken the rope off so she's pretty uh, it's pretty secure when I do that all, all the way down from the back with the wire. That should be pretty strong and then I'll try and work on making that little crap crack a little bit more uh, invisible. Okay, now this is where we're at at the moment. Um, I've done three little sections of wire, sort of like strapping if you like in there. And when that cools down, I'm going to get that 
so that this bit here is on a flat so I'm not doing uphill and I'll just keep going in stages until it's all done and then we'll see how it looks on the other side but that'll be plenty strong enough okay that's the uh, finish repair on the inside there's about three cable ties in there and I think all up about six of those uh, copper stitches hold it together now just give that a bit of a shake up here on the top here and that is pretty good we'll have a look and see what it looks like on the other side and see how we can smooth that off okay so this is where we're at I've just uh, cleaned up the other side where the crack was and I've touched it up with this uh, aerosol but what I do so I don't make a mess with the spray. I just spray it into the lid and use the little brush there to just brush it on. I put it on twice and hit it with the heat gun because it's another cold, miserable day here. Now, in about five to seven days, I'll just get the car back and I'll just hit it with 1000 until it's smooth and then polish that out. Now I'm gonna start marking and drilling the holes for the sensors. Okay, so we've got the bumper bar sitting on the trestles there. And just remember to put some rags so you don't damage the paint. There's the crack repair there. So what we're going to do now is around about at that point there, that was about the 60 centimetre mark, we're going to just mark out where the four sensors are going to go. I'm going to space them equally drill the holes out and before I drill the holes out I'm going to put some masking tape on there to try and save the paint save it from doing any damage okay what I've done to get a straight line make sure they're all in a line I've put a strip of masking tape along that bottom body line in the, uh, the bumper and I've measured out 100 millimeters from that radius there and put that mark there and the same with this one here 100 mil out from there and up a little dot there so it's just starting to curve there and then what i've done is i've measured the distance from that dot to the other dot and divided it by three because we've got three spaces here one two and three and that distance there i just measured it into the that little spot there and I've got these extra bits of tape here because I don't want this little hole saw to damage the paint and just to be even more cautious even though it's got a pilot drill on the end of this thing here I'm going to drill a little hole into that before we start with the hole saw now before you drill any holes just make sure there's nothing on the back side of it like any uh, webbing or anything that might get into Let the drill do the work. Now this is just a little bit smaller than the uh, the hole for the pilot, so it will. It's just going to get a guide. And here's the lucky last one here. Get the hole saw out next and see how we go. Okay, here we go with the hole saw. Again, we're just going to let it uh, do the work without putting too much pressure on it. Now that's cut about halfway in. Just to be safe, I'm going to drill the rest of it from the back. Let's have a look here and see what we got. If, we can, if I can do it with it, holding the camera. Now I'll have to show you the end result because I've got to hold the bumper still. Okay, so they're drilled from both sides. It should come out nice and clean. I've done the other three. 
And now we'll take the tape off and make sure there's no damage. Oh, you put your holes in. Yep. Mm -hmm. You take this tape off and we'll go. We're going to take the cat to get vaccinated. And then we'll be back. We'll pull this tape off just to finish this segment. Even when you take the tape off, watch you don't peel the paint off. So with masking tape, don't leave it on too long. Because it ends up gluing itself to the, uh, the surface. And it's not much fun to get off. I'll just give that a wipe down. One second there. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that's a clean hole. She said... Beautiful. Better take this still. Right. All right. When we come back, we're going to put the sensors in and then uh, start putting it back on the car. So we've come across a bit of a problem here. The little sensors, they don't want to sit flush. Oh, Jackie, just hang on to that for a sec. They don't want to sit flush. So what I've done, I've got a bit of wood up against the sensor with two G clamps holding it together and I've put a bead of hot milk glue gun in just to hold it in place. It just keeps popping out. They weren't looking flush, so I didn't like the look of that. So we'll do that to all four of them. When that cools off, we'll go on to the next one. And then we're ready to uh, go back to the car. Now, this is a setup we did for the corner one. So let's see if that focuses in on there. So that's pressed up flush against the, the bumper. Oh yeah, that's nice and clear. And then what we've done, we've put a little bead of hot milk glue all the way around there. That one, that one, and that one. And the other thing too is if you have a look at these little sensors, just move the light away for a sec, Jack. Just, oh, no, no, just I want to see that where it's got up written on it. No, go back. Uh, let, wait, let it focus. See how it's got up written on it? For some reason, they've got to be all pointing up which is like the cable on the downside, which that one is, that one is, that one is. It must be the, the spread of the, the sonar thing, whatever it uses. Now we're going to go to the car and uh, attach it to the bumper bar. We'll take the clamp off. We've mounted the bumper bar. Now this is from underneath the car, and every couple of inches we'll put some cable ties, and the harnesses are coming over to this side here. All over to there, and there's a bit of shit light again. And there's a hole there where the tow bar wires have gone through. We'll put some uh, protective shield around there. Now I'll just get around and show you. That's how the sensors look on the car. Nice and next. You're getting a bit dark. But we'll try and finish it off. And see if it works. And that's where we're going to go. The wires are coming up through. The, just turn this light off here so I can kind of see a little bit. That's where the jack is, and there's the wiring for the reverse light. We're going to we'll put the sensor and the little module up in here, and we're done. And we'll see if it works. Okay, we're just about done here. We've fed all the wires through there. Uh, the module is there, and the siren is just stuck just above that. I've just tucked the wires in there, so when he puts the jack, it's not going to interfere. Everything's cable tied in there, nice and neat. I'm um, pretty sure these might be the wires for the tail lights. We're just going to find out which is the reverse and which is the earth. And solder that onto there, and then we'll give it a test. Right, we're all wired up now. We're just going to test it. Uh, Jackie put in reverse. There's the beep. Now, I'm going to get close to this. And we'll see if these sensors pick me up. There it is there. I'll just go further back. Oh, that'll do me. So we'll wrap this one up. 
took most of today, but we don't the repair. I'll show you where the repair is when I trip over here. You guys, the thing there. Uh, we'll give that a week and then we'll sand it down and buffer up. You won't even know the difference. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.